Everybody's Tyler here at the Northeast Wisconsin Signature Event, checking in with 4082X Freedom Titans coming in here right in Wisconsin. 482's been uh, having a great performance on the field so far. I've been watching the last couple matches, very impressed by the overall math strategy and just a very solidly built robot. Uh, running the uh, reverse intake on here, so we'll be talking, of course, more about that and really just giving a full breakdown of what this robot has to offer. This is our first signature event, so excited to learn more about them. You might recognize last year we interviewed one of their sister teams and they're keeping on a great tradition of fantastic robots as well, too. So not only that, we'll be going through, like I said, all the different areas of the robot, some of the different sensors and just how this robot operates. Let's learn more about them coming up here. I'm Pits and parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs in their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash vex. Mikhail, let's talk about the reverse intake on here. I'd love to hear about, uh, for your team, why it's been working out so well for you, and let's break down some of the other aspects of that intake. Yeah, so we have a very unique intake from other teams. So right here, we have this wheel that's kind of cut, which helps us grab the rings better. And then once we bring the rings in, we have this unique mechanism right here, which we call a reverse intake. And from here, it has three different options. So the ring can either continue to come up and we can score it on a tower over here because we have our tower in the back clamped on here. We can, from here, we can reverse it back. If we have our arm up here, we can reverse it back. If we pick up the wrong color, so we can kick it out. And then the other feature is that once we have it in, we can reverse it with our arm down. And that is how we get it into our mechanism right here, which is how we use to put on the high stakes. So this is how we put them on the high stakes. We'll put it over the top, and then it just pulls right out like that. And can we see it with the robot, like a full cycle, how that looks? Yes. So it can go up, it can come back down, and then it can come up. And are you using any sort of color sensor for that, or are you just manually saying, hey, it's not the right color, I'm going to eject it out? We do not use a color sensor. We just have buttons that when we want to put one on the side stake, um, our driver, Owen, he just pushes the button and it kicks it right back out here. Last thing I want to ask you is on this uh, wheel in particular for it. Uh, you know, most teams we're seeing, you know, kind of more of these standard like 35, 45A durometer flex wheels. What made you think of like, hey, this is this wheel's working out really well for us or that you wanted to go with that? So we were having trouble like grabbing a ring at first. And so with this, it kind of just gives it the little extra push it needs because the ring kind of gets in there and it's able to like just get that little extra oomph to get it in our intake. Uh, Owen, notice you have a joinker on your robot as well too, so let's talk about uh, just how that's working out for your team and, you know, match strategy wise, how's that working out and what are you doing for it exactly? Yeah, for our joinker, we can, uh, it comes down with a lot of pressure and uh, that's strong enough to actually grab a mobile goal and pull it back with us. Uh, going full speed even, uh, it doesn't lose it because we have this rubber stopper on it. Uh, on it so that it can grab goals. And we also use the doinker in the corners to remove rings very efficiently and quickly. We decided to go with a shorter design to make it more durable so it wouldn't like get beat up by the corner or anything like that. Are you using it as like a goal rush strat at all too in a time Yes, list? yes, we do have uh, red and blue goal rushes that we use the doinker for and we can quickly pull back the goal using the doinker. Mikaela, on the back of your robot, when we watch your match, your team is really able to use your mobile goal clamp to pretty much pick up uh, in like tough corners and that sort of thing too. So talk to me about how that's working out for your team and just overall to showcase how that picks up that goal. Yeah, so one unique feature is we can grab it from either the side of it or we can grab it from the corner. So that's something that a lot of teams can't do, which makes it easier to grab a goal in a match since we can grab it from either side. And another unique feature is when we grab it, it tilts it up more. So that allows 
it makes it a lot harder for other teams to like grab onto it and steal it from us. So we, once we have that possession of that goal, it's not going anywhere. Another um, feature that we make sure that we, another team cannot grab it from us is we have little uh, prongs right here that latch on under the edge of the tower. And that once it's clamped in there, you can't pull it out because of this little latch. So that's another unique feature that we have on our clamp. Oh, let's talk about the uh, climb that you're using uh, on your team. Uh, got a nice level one climb, very quick and able to do it very last second. And then let's cover some of the sensors you're utilizing on your robot too. Uh, we have a, a very efficient level one climb. It, it's passive, so we just, uh, at the end of the match, we put our, our climb up and the uh, pistons both rise up. And now it's passive and like we can use it to just, if the match is ending, we can just run right up to the the tower and it'll just hang on that tower like even if at one second if we have that boost of energy our robot will hang on the bar in the last three seconds for a quick three points and for our uh, sensors we use an inertial sensor and uh, sensors in our motors and we uh, have PID programs so it, uh, our tons are extremely efficient and accurate and looking at uh, from this event, what have you learned so far? You know, we've seen the new rule changes, right, with the 30 seconds as well, too. Uh, your experience here at the SIG, what has been uh, something your team has taken away? Uh, I was originally shocked by the 30 second rule. I, I knew a big update was coming out. So we had to uh, figure out how to adjust and change our drive strategy to make sure we can get the last 30, get a goal in the corner in the last 30 seconds and like leave so we don't get that DQ. So we have to discuss with our alliance partner how we're going to play most of the match. And a lot of times uh, we'll either take the corner or have the other team guard the corner. Or we'll try to get both corners, but that's kind of tough in a signature event. Yeah, course. definitely. It'll be interesting to see how the meta evolves in this game as we continue on through. So Freedom uh, Titans, thank you so much for taking time to tell us about your uh, robot. Wish you best of luck here at this signature event and of course throughout the rest of your season. Thanks a lot and good luck the rest of the way. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash vex. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.